In this video, I am going to show you how to model stairs in eTabs. The details of the stairs to be modeled is shown. First, we need to select the plinth level in the plan view. The consistent unit should be in fit. Then draw the beam column framing system of the stair tower. Then opening the 3D rendered view, rotating to view the stair tower, we just are intending to draw. Then we will divide the columns and the beams into half. Dividing columns so that we can insert a beam between the columns. Then we have to replicate the frame to continue the stair tower up to the 7th story now we will define the waste lab section Seven inches thick. Now we will insert the beam. First, dividing the frame so that beam can be inserted between the columns. Now it can be inserted since the columns are divided. Inserting the beam at an offset of 4 feet, which is for the landing slab. Let's make it a more visible. Now we need to divide this for two waist slabs. Drawing the first waist slab. Press enter. Drawing the second waist slab. Yes, it's divided. So now drawing the second waist slab. Press enter. We need to draw the landing slab. 
which is of 6 inch thick same as the floor slab press enter select the beams waste slab to be replicated to the other stories it is extremely important to select the beams in a correct manner if you miss any beam then the structure will not be properly designed Now we are going to replicate it to the upper stories excluding story 7 where the top slab of the stair tower will be there. Opening the plan view of 7th story and inserting the slab. Or sheltering the stair tower. Now opening the rendered view. So that is how we design or model stair in e -tabs. Select the waste slab in order to assign the loads. For more such videos, please subscribe to the channel.